What's up guys, it's, it's Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I want to talk about um, archived estimate. Um, uh, the fourth generation did have archived estimate and we removed it temporarily and we just added it back. Uh, I didn't know it was a, such a big deal, but well, apparently it is a, such a big deal and I'm glad it is, so we brought it back. Uh, so to archive and assuming that we have an estimate right here, uh, for example, and the customer says he doesn't want to do it right now, we don't want to delete the estimate, we just want to archive it. Uh, so we're going to click on menu right here and you have an option right now to archive the estimate. And click on archive estimate and then click on yes. Uh, so we're, how do you look up archive estimate? We have just a link at the bottom right here. You still have all this menu, but anytime you want to click archive estimate, see our, all your archived estimates, just click on show archived estimates and it's going to be right here. Uh, but not 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 just that. Um, if the customer comes back now, and he brought the G6 back again, so the notification is getting better and better right now because we're gonna see the notification is gonna start all the way uh, from when the last time the vehicle was serviced to all the way at the bottom right here. If you if you look, we have a couple things that we just added. Um, let's just bring it back. Um, does does vehicle have a quote? And it says yes so this vehicle has a quote we mean we need to resell that quote or we need to delete it either or does vehicle have an archived estimate it says yes and there's two of them so we have we have these options so let's check this out remember it when th this closed automatically but if you want to reopen it uh, just double click on the notification sign right here and it'll bring it back and once you bring it back it won't go away unless you click OK so in this case, we have it says we have a quote for this car. So let's check it out. We're gonna click on view quote, and it's right there. There is a quote for the tires. So our job at this moment try to sell these tires, or see if the customer already put tires somewhere else. Whatever the case is. So if if you think he's not gonna do it, then just delete the quote. Um, just click on delete, and delete. Um, the other thing it says. The customer has an archived estimates go back to archived estimates and search for that customer which is in this if you have a list just search for the just search you can search for the car so let's say um, G6 there's two of them um, so we're gonna click on that one and we're gonna try to sell them this one if 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 not we're gonna have to delete it so this will keep you more organized I mean archived estimate um, it's kind of pain in the ass, but at the same time, it's kind of really good because sometimes you never know if the customer is going to come back or not. And you don't, especially if you have a long estimate, if it's a starter, obviously you can recreate it, no problem. Now the problem with if, the, if you have a long estimate and now you, you have to recreate it, yeah, you can save it, put it just, you know, just send it to archive estimate. Uh, and, uh, and that's it you don't have to worry about until the customer comes back or until you go search for archived estimate so this list is only going to be there when you need it it's not something that you look at all the time um uh, what else i think that's it for today um there's one thing we're gonna be bringing back uh, pretty soon is adding pictures and saving pictures and files uh hopefully soon Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Until next time, thanks for watching.